Greetings YouTube, please forgive the fan noises, it's warm. So we're going to start a new bargain video with books. We have Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them, Magic Creatures, Coloring Book. I got that for my wife for 50 cents. We have the Eyewitness book from DK, Knight. I thought I might have had this, but I have Battle, so I don't have Knight. So that was cool, and it was $1.29 at Savers. We have a book of dice, which I'm probably going to give a read, then give it to someone I know who is a really big dice fan. Um, Mythological Women, Contemporary Reflections on Ancient Religious Stories. Lies My Teacher Told Me. I'm giving this to a mother and son who might both appreciate it. I've given away numerous copies of this book over the years. It is a book that every single person should read. Uh, James Tom, The Buried Truth, from the uh, lead archaeologist who unearthed the secrets of American America's birthplace. So that should be interesting and, and probably depressing. Then we have Steve and Me by Terry Irwin, which is a story, her story, about how she met Steve Irwin and their life together. Um, then we have the Grosset All Color Guide to Arms and Armor, which is a really cool little book. I was really psyched to find this. I'm like, I've never heard of this book before. It's from like 1971, and I wish I had found this when I was a kid. Uh, then we have uh, Wolverine, Enemy, uh, Enemy, of the Enemy of the State. I picked this up for three bucks. It's the whole, it's the whole collection there. Um, never heard of that storyline. Then we have Serenity's um, Firefly Class of 03K64, The uh, Shepherd's Tale. So I never read this. That should be cool. Then we have a comic of called Omac. That's the character. And the character is Omac One Man Army Company. And I don't actually remember a lot about this character. It says, for mature readers. But I'm in, absolutely in love with the artwork of John Byrne. So I really want to give that a read. And then we have Frankenstein and the Creatures of the Un Unknown. Which look completely over the top. And I had to give this a look. So on to DVDs. We have Shaun the Sheep Season 1 and Season 2. I wasn't even aware that he had an episodic show so i was really thrilled to find this i picked them both both up for eight bucks it's a good price um some doctor who i got this strictly for the commentary this isn't my who my who was tom baker but this guy wasn't bad i didn't mind him um so i thought i'd get the, give it a look and i have a friend who's a big who fan so she'll probably want to look at that as well we have inception we have a reboot of the phantom as a, uh, um, the original movie was uh billy zane i think it was Terminator Genesis. I only paid a dollar for this on the blue on Blu-ray. Um, I haven't even seen Salvation yet. I know this isn't going to be very good, but I still want to see it. And for a dollar buy-in, I'm okay. Same with this. I know I'm not expecting much because of the uh, whitewashing of an, an Indian character, um, but uh, for a buck, I'm okay. Uh, we have Sea Lab 2021, which is the first season. I've never seen this. I've seen the original cartoon that came out in the 70s. Um, which I loved as a child because I have a deep and abiding fascination by it with the um, undersea dwellings and exploration, even though I will never swim in water I can't see through. But I have not seen this at all, and someone, the guy who sold it really recommended it, so that was cool. Um, V.I. Uh, Warshansky by with K uh, Kathleen Turner. My wife wanted to see that. We have 15 classic Bugs Bunny cartoons. We have The Seventh Son with Jeff Bridges. Um, which, again, I'm, I'm not putting a lot of hope in that one, but, you know, Julian Moore is in it, so she's not bad. We have the first season of Fringe. The internet has told me that's not bad. We'll find out. We have Tangled. We have Red 2, which is not as good as the original, but still, it was quite entertaining. Reefer Madness with colorized, fully colorized, and all the, the, the smoke from the weed um, is colored. So it's like greens and purples and things. It's unbelievable. And it has a commentary track with Mike Nelson from Misty, Mystery Science Theater 3000. So yeah, I recommend this one. Uh, we have a, a Blu-ray aquarium. We have The Vesuvius Experiment, a Joshua Kennedy film. That one looks marvelous. Your Highness, again, the internet tells me this is good. We'll see if the, L, the internet has lied to me. Uh, Dileram, uh, Dino Del, Del, uh, De Laurentiis's King Kong Lives. I think I've seen that. Then we have uh, The Green Archer plus Lost City. A Thunderbolt of Therils with Edgar Wallace. That's an a uh, that's a feature full length film version of like some of the Saturday afternoon uh, serials. 
Um, then we have uh, the interpreter, which I, again I picked up for a dollar. Uh, and lastly, we have Kiana the Prophecy, which I've never really heard of. I bought that blind. We'll see how, how good I did. We have a BB King album, John Legend, um, The Roots. And this is an album by the Black Keys. The name of this album is Brothers. And last but not least, Car Tech. Car, car Talk. Men are from GM, women are from Ford. I love these dudes. This was quite entertaining. On to Stings. We have a monster switch cover made by Laika, L-A-I-K-A, and this is from Ecuador. And I picked this up um, at, a, at a thrift shop, Savers, for three bucks. I didn't actually use the switch that came with it, I just put it over the existing switch. I did have to put my own screws in there, because apparently the screws used in Ecuador are different than the plate screws used in the US. There you go. But I thought that was really cool, and uh, it makes me smile. And here we have a pimpin' snake. Yep, that's a snake. Rattling its tail musically, painted on a rock. Made me smile. Um, we have a fish cozy for your drink. I picked it up at a, the flea market for a buck for my wife as a joke. We have this, which is a nice little ceramic piece. Picked it up for 50 cents. I think I might be able to put an air plant in that. That would look very pretty. Then we have this mug, which came from an Irish uh, pottery studio. Uh, what is it? Moville Pottery in Ireland. And I thought that was very pretty. It was a dollar fifty. I'm like, okay, I gotta, I gotta bring that one home because this is interesting because that's actually negative space. So they actually put something on there to protect it from the glaze. Could have been wax or something like that. And then after they dipped it, it would, it would melt in the process and go away. That might have to be how they did it. That's speculation on my part. And that came from. I'm going to give a shout out to Corey's Closet in Hooksett, New Hampshire. Uh, they are a uh, uh, thrift shop that employs people with special needs, including a guy named Corey. We have a Aztec style bottle opener, which is I find quite attractive, and we'll put it, we'll hang it up for display. But it's a horrible bottle opener, complete and utter bottle opener fail. Then we have this ball stone sphere it doesn't look all that interesting here but if the light catches it it has some really nice small bits of fire in it it has a nice aesthetic feel to me I'm, I'm gonna have a thing for spheres and i have a thing for stones so there you go and it's just a little rubber ring that i'm using as a as a stand but we have we have this this is a picture of a pug i don't know whose pug but i went to an estate sale and in the basement which was an utter and absolute disaster um if heavily infested with black mold there was this picture sitting on a shelf. So I just stuck it in my pocket and brought it home. So now I have a picture of this magnificent pug. I like pugs. That's a great dog. I would have loved to have known him, her, him or her. We have this, which is a blade from a turbine from the public service of New Hampshire. So this is actually a blade that would have been used in a turbine for generating electricity. The woman whose husband owned it um, worked for PSNH, Public Service in New Hampshire. And I got this and that little blue vase up there for the air, air plant for a dollar. So that was 50 cents. And it's really nice quality steel and it's heavy. I'll probably just you know, put it up as an art display or something, but it's really cool looking. We have two bells. This, this is a, uh, a uh, snowman. and it's, This is a solid steel handle. I think this may be handmade. I'm not positive. It has a stamp in the back. It says 1999, but the letters are not perfectly spaced even. So I think that it may have been done by hand and when they and, and it, it's been dropped at least once, but it was very cute and the sound wasn't horrible. Now this is a magnificent find because it says birthday greetings, which is my wife loves greeting bells. And then it has all of the Zodiac symbols on it and a nice tone. And I got that for two bucks. So that was a nice find. Um, then we have a Gonzo knife. This is a, this is a one I did not own. I don't actually I don't actually own an official Gonzo knife. I own Firebird blades made by Gonzo, but this is the first official Gonzo knife I've owned, and I quite like the the, the scales there, the, the sculpted scales. And uh, I picked this up for 15 bucks at a at which at a, at a, a flea market, which is close to what you pay for it regularly. It's a little bit less expensive for me to do it this way. I think I would have probably paid 20, 20 or 25 bucks for that online. Um, then we have a C64 tuning fork. It needs just a little work to be cleaned up, 
Um, and I need to know, I need to figure out how to tune it because it's probably out of tune. Um, but I thought that was cool and it's really wonderfully heavy metal. It, it's, it's got a nice heft to it. I paid a quarter for that at a yard sale. We have this figure, which is the Behemoth, or Behemoth, depends on what you say it, uh, from Safari Unlimited. And that was a gift from my wife. Speaking of my wife, I picked up her a Nathan running belt. So it's got two containers. You can, you know, keep water in it and a little pouch. You can keep energy bars and your keys and your, you know, your things like that. Um, and she, we have Nathan lights, which we really like. And I've got a friend of mine that's got a Nathan water bottle that she quite likes. So I thought I'd try the Nathan belt and I picked it up for, I don't know, probably 50 cents. I have a phrenology bust. Yep. This is a bust, which demonstrates where on the brain or the skull, all the important parts are for phrenology. The phrenology by L. N. Fowler uh, entered at Stations uh, Stationers Hall, and L. N. Fowler uh, Ludicate Circus, London. That's a reproduction, obviously, but I paid five dollars for it. So there you go. Uh, a little purse for my wife, so she can keep things in it when she just wants to carry her phone and her and her wallet. This is a uh, handheld mouse for like a laptop and I picked it up for like less than a buck so I figured I'd give it a try see if I like it if it works cool if it doesn't work well you know I don't have much buy into it um, then we have some story cube dice from Rory's story cubes and these are a wonderful tool and it broke my heart to see them because they were never opened so someone either didn't understand how to use them or they just didn't want to who doesn't want to generate stories with their kid I was heartbroken to see this, so I, I picked it up and brought them home for for two bucks. That's a little bit less less than the you pay for the brand new, and these are brand new. And then we have the best find on this section, which is this micrometer. And this is a device you use, whoops, you use for measuring. So I'm gonna, there you go. And I picked up the micrometer, a magnetic stand. You put it to on position to engage the magnet, and this comes up and down, so you can. Stick it up, uh, stick it where you want to. And this stand, which has a polished granite base, cast iron base, steel support, and then adjustments here uh, for, for precise measurements. I picked up all three of those pieces for $3. That is an unbelievable find. A truly. I asked the guy, I said, well, how much do you want for the micrometer? He's like, you're the only person that's ever known what it was. How about three bucks? Okay. I would have paid a lot more than three dollars um, but i paid three bucks so i was very happy and then one last section coming up folks that is a fish bat it's fairly light i'm going to modify it it cost me all of a buck um, then we have a stanley machete um i picked this up new for twelve dollars it was on sale which the weird thing is this is like the model that came out in 2017 and it's already being discounted to at least half or more of the price than it was originally so I'm like, okay, give it, give it a shot, take it out, play with it, see if I like the, how it feels. The, the grip is okay. It's, the, it's slightly too big for me, but not too bad. A lot of machetes have hand handles that are way too big for my comfort. Um, then we have this really nice quality vintage nightstick. I don't know how old it is, um, but it's a really nice shape. I'm not going to do anything to this. I'm just going to put a line, a line on it and hang it, so hang it up. But it's really pretty. Uh, we have a file here, which is a little slightly worse for wear. It's got a really interesting profile. Very sharp edge. Thought that might come in handy. And I got, I got it for a song. I can clean it up. We have this Aust Austrian walking stick, which is based on an ice axe. Now this is aluminum. Um, this down here is aluminum with a steel tip. These are a little loose. This, that, and that. This is not too bad, but the one on the tip is definitely a little loose. So I'm gonna see if I can get the nails out carefully so I can preserve them. Um, maybe epoxy it in place, then pin it all back together. Cause I wanna just use it has a walking stick, but it still has the original wrist strap, and it has a, um, a little nub here to keep the, to keep this from falling down. Nice, elegant, simple, simple design. I would really like to find one of these, which is a real ice axe. I've seen them that had steel heads, but they're going to be more more uncommon. And I paid a, paid ten dollars for that. That's a really nice price. I paid six for that, um, which is also a decent price. And it's just so little, I don't even remember what I paid. I got a bunch of L brackets, uh, which I paid like a buck or two for. Um, I got this one I got for nothing. Somebody was giving stuff away at the flea market. So I figured I've got definitely got stuff I can use that on. We have this, which I think originally was part of some kind of shelving device, like, you know, a centerpiece. You put cup 
cakes or treats and stuff on it. I'm thinking of taking it and using this to put three blades, saw blades in a row, overlapping, pinning them in the middle for structural integrity and turning it into a giant throwing star because I am twisted. Uh, brand new roll of blue tape. And this is from Kaiser. I don't know what, what, what company they are, but this is heavy gauge steel, fully enameled. I have no idea what I'm going to do with it, but it was in really nice condition. I figured I might find some use for it, maybe a buckler, maybe something else in the future, but I paid a song for it. So I'm like, okay, I pick it up, put it, in the, put it in the, on the shelf and see if I can come up with an idea. And last but not least, we have this, which I have already probably posted by now, which is a 14 inch diameter steel stop sign that I have converted into a buckler. A very simple build, just two holes and all the hardware other than that were stuff I already had. So there was no investment except for the shield itself, which I think I paid five bucks for, for a solid steel stop sign of this size, I thought was a great price. So there you go, folks. This has been um, the bargain video. It runs a little long today, I apologize, but I did find some cool stuff.